guy. This one. She doesn't have the energy she used used to. She doesn't have the um, the boisterousness that she used to. So we can see her slowly kind of cruising downhill, and that's really hard to watch. Putting gloves on. If she doesn't get this transplant, she will she will die. Three-year-old Aria McDonald is in constant discomfort and in desperate need of a bowel and kidney transplant. Want some dinner, Aria? Her parents, Anita go. and Hamish, are anxiously waiting to hear Grace. if they'll be granted the three million dollars needed for Aria's surgery. Yeah. Will that help? Okay, Daddy will do. Aria was born with a rare bowel condition, so while she joins the family for dinners, she can't actually eat the food. She understands that she can only take a little taste of the food, then remove it again. Her dinner comes later. Because her intestine doesn't move, um, if food gets caught in there, it can get real, fester away and get a bit nasty, so, yeah. No? No. That carrot's too big to stab, are they? Mm. Total intestinal aganglionosis is often no? genetic. Look. Look it has an affected carrot. baby brother, Asher, and they try not to let it smother family life. You finished? Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess it's just n like normal, normal families eat together at the table and I guess um, one day very soon she will be eating so then it won't be weird to her I guess and it's something we do every evening and just part of our routine I guess so yeah in the hope that it will actually be what it is one day. <laughs> you finished? Aria needs a complex kidney and bowel transplant not available in New Zealand. The only option is to uproot the entire family and travel to the United States for up to two years while Aria goes through the critical phases post-surgery. Maybe sit down? Yeah. Okay, let's get going, eh? Let's get all the stuff. But the $3 million marathon would give her a normal life. And right now, life is far from that. Bedtime is when Aria receives nutrition crucial to her survival. Aria, is the time for wiggle juice now? A bag of liquid nutrient called TPN trickles into her bloodstream overnight. This is Aria's TPN, her wiggle juice as we call it. It's just a way of keeping it fun. Everything we try to do, we try to uh, keep fun and light and entertaining for Aria. She gets really involved with her whole pro TPN process. Well, you've already got your wiggle blankets out. Her nutrition is delivered via a tube, permanently inserted into her main artery. It's really important that we uh, try to be as sterile as possible when we do this process because the TPN goes straight into one of her blood vessels, major blood vessels, and down into her heart. If for any reason a bug got into it by me touching the wrong thing or something from the environment getting onto it, the infection would go straight into her bloodstream and that would really make her very sick quite quickly. Your wire connector for your antirobotics. So we call it antibiotics, anti-robotics, just for the fun of it. And we do little robot dances and stuff to just try to keep the fun of it. So, Dad's become an expert on the process. He's given up work, oh, dedicating his time to his little girl. So basically, this process of of the TPN is just to making sure that um, there's no air bubbles or anything that um, like that, because there's a lot of air goes into a system. Oh, there's a risk of her getting sick from that as well. But everything else you'd possibly need in life is all in the little white juice, so it's really remarkable stuff and it's amazing how well she's thrived just on this stuff. She's had some really difficult procedures, you know, putting um, IVs in, and um, you know, you just have to step back and step back from your pain as a mother or as a father, experiencing this with your child, and channel your energy towards Aria, and she will pick up on that, I think. Oh, what's that? Oh, your blood coming out. That's alright. The wiggle juice will push it in soon. Do you want to hold on some blankies while we do wiggle blanket? Yeah. Okay. Need some blankies. Yeah, I love 
bring out a better night. It's really special to me. It's like really good. I'm in daddy, daddy and daughter time. Say bye bye to these people. So Aria's will go to sleep now and her TPN will run for the next 13 hours. Um, generally most nights are pretty um, good, she sleeps pretty well. She's a happy girl, we think she has a, a nice life and she doesn't often have nightmares, it's very rarely that she will cry out. So it'll be nice one day for her not to have to go through this process at night and she can have dinner with the rest of us and just go to sleep. Aria's mum and dad are an ordinary Kiwi couple from South Auckland. Aria's future is totally dependent on a single government decision.